George Orwell, A Biography Introduction George Orwell, was an English novelist, essayist, journalist and critic. His work is outspoken support of democratic socialism. Best known for Novels Burmese Days, 1934 A Clergyman's Daughter, 1935 Keep the Aspidistra Flying, 1936 Coming Up for Air, 1939 Animal Farm, 1945 1984, 1949 Non-Fiction, Down and Out in Paris and London, 1933 The Road to Wigan Pier, 1937 Homage to Catalonia, 1938 Essays Politics and the English Language Reflections on Gandhi In Defense of P.G. Woodhouse You and the Atomic Bomb Shooting an Elephant Why I Write A Nice Cup of Tea The Moon Underwater Litter, Tolstoy and the Fool England Your England A Hanging Animal Farm, 1945 it is an allegorical novel and an example of a political satire. Story of a group of farm animals who rebel against their human farmer, hoping to create a society where the animals can be equal, free, and happy. However, the rebellion is betrayed, and the farm ends up in a state as bad as it was before, under the dictatorship of a pig named Napoleon. Themes The Betrayed Revolution 1984, 1949 it is a dystopian novel. The novel examines the role of truth and facts within politics and the ways in which they are manipulated. 1984 is a satirical inversion of 1948. Main Characters Winston Smith, the protagonist. Julia, Winston's lover and a cover treble. O'Brien, a member of the inner party. Secondary Characters Aronson, Jones and Rutherford, former members of the inner party. Ampleforth, Winston's colleague of records department. Charrington, an officer of the thought police. Catherine, an indifferent wife whom Winston can't get rid of. Tom Parsons, Winston's neighbor. Sim, Winston's colleague at the Ministry of Truth. Unseen characters, Big Brother, the leader of E-Party that rules a senior. Emmanuel Goldstein, counter-revolutionary leader. Themes, nationalism, futurology, censorship, surveillance. The Road to Wigan Pier, 1937. The book is divided into two sections. Part 1 describes Life of the miners and their social situation, unemployment and ugliness of the industrial towns. Part 2, Orwell discusses the relevance of socialism to improving living conditions. This section proved a controversial shooting an elephant, 1936. The essay describes the experience of the English narrator, possibly Orwell himself, called upon to shoot an aggressive elephant while working as a police officer in Burma. Why I write, 1946. It is an essay by George Orwell detailing his personal journey to becoming a writer. A hanging, 1931. It describes the execution of a criminal. A Nice Cup of Tea, 1946. It is a discussion of the craft of making a cup of tea, including the line, Here are my own eleven rules, every one of which I regard as golden. The Moon Under the Water, 1946. Orwell provided a detailed description of his ideal public house, the fictitious Moon Under Water. England Your England, 1941. Orwell wrote during the Blitz of 1941 as bombers of Nazi Germany flew overhead. It is his attempt to define English culture and the English people for the rest of the world as he fears that it might soon be wiped from Earth by the Nazi armies. Lear, Tolstoy and the Fool, 1947. It was inspired by a critical essay on Shakespeare by Leo Tolstoy. Orwell analyzes Tolstoy's criticism of Shakespeare's work in general and his attack on King Lear in particular. MCQs. What is the real name of George Well? A. Eric Cantano. B. Eric Blair. C. Eric Morecambe. D. Eric John. <laughs> Correct answer. 
B. Eric Blair. Which war did Orwell take part in? A. Spanish Civil War. B. Korean War. C. Irish Civil War. D. Anglo Vichy French War. <laughs> Correct answer. A. Spanish Civil War. The character Winston Smith appeared in which of the Orwell's works? A. Animal Farm. B. The Road to Wigan Pier. C. A Clergyman's Daughter. D. 1984. <coughs> Correct answer. D. 1984. What is the name of the novel written by Orwell based on his service in the Indian Imperial Police? A. Burmese Days B. Asian Days C. Vietnamese Days D. Happy Days <coughs> Correct answer. A. Burmese Days Which two cities are mentioned in the work of Orwell's Down and Out? A. London and Glasgow B. London and Dublin C. London and Paris. D. London and Edinburgh. Correct answer. C. London and Paris. In the essay Politics and English Language, how many rules has Orwell laid down for English writers? A. 6. B. 8. C. 10. D. 12. Correct answer. A. 6. Who assisted George Orwell in BBC? A. Venu Chinal. B. Nassim Ezekiel. C. Sarojini Naidu. D. Anita Day Sai. <coughs> Correct answer. A. Venu Chinal. Orwell's Animal Farm is about A. The Animal World. B. The Homo Sapiens. C. The Degeneration of Communist Ideas D. Ugliness of Industrial Town Correct answer, C. The Degeneration of Communist Ideas